I will bless the Lord at all times, and his praise shall continually be in my mouth. We rise, we shine, and give God the glory on this wonderful Monday morning with the hope, the trust, and even the prayer that whoever you are, wherever you are, you might be blessed by a word from the Lord even on uh, this morning. Um, our title, our tag this morning is Be Patient. Be Patient. Two words, and these two words are profound words. They make a difference as to how our life's assignment will turn out. Be patient. So you can find these life lessons and these little, uh, you know, occurrences and these encounters that we have every day. And you can see divinity and sometimes the carnality if you look hard enough. We had pulled up to Cheesecake because I like to give me some sweet on my way home. And I just had to give me something sweet. So we went up to Cheesecake Factory and the parking lot is full, jam-packed. There are people in line. Uh, trying to find a parking space. Um, so what I decided to do, I decided to be patient. I was behind the car and I decided to let the car go ahead. Lo and behold, uh, there was a parking uh, space that opened up. And the SUV that was trying to get in this parking space was in such a hurry that he came in uh, in the wrong angle, on the wrong angle. And when he came in on the wrong, I said, no, nah, he going to mess up that other car because he, he tried to go in there too fast. He didn't swing out. And when he didn't swing out, he went into the parking place space in an awkward uh, angle. So he had to back out, and he was so frustrated, he had given up on the parking space that he pulled out all together and went on about his business to try to find another parking space. And because I was patient, uh, because I waited on the Lord, uh, there was a space that opened up and it was perfect just for me. I was able to swing out, pull into the parking space appropriately, and it was a perfect fit. Well, that's what God wants us to do. God wants us to be patient. God already has your space carved out for you. God has already appointed your assignment. God has already moved ahead of you. He has moved uh, in advance of you getting to your spot, to your place, to your destiny, to your destination. But sometimes you got to be patient because if you come in too fast, you're going to be at an awkward angle and you ain't going to be able to get in the space, even if he's already ordained the space for you, even if he's already reserved the space for you. See, you can move too fast and miss God altogether. You can move too fast and miss what God has in store for you. You need some Bible for this. Well, Paul says in Philippians chapter one and verse number six, uh, being confident in this that he who has begun a good work in you will bring it to completion or perfection until the day of Christ. Look at that. He says God is doing something in you. You are in processing. You are under construction. God ain't finished with you yet. Won't you be patient with the process? Won't you be patient with yourself? What is for you is for you. And if you move too fast, if you move hurriedly, if you move too quick, you just very well may get ahead of God. Abraham and Sarah got ahead of God. And there are innumerable witnesses in the Bible that would tell you, don't get ahead of God. Wait on God. Even if he's late, he's still right on time. Grandma say he's an on time God. Yes, he is. He might not come when you want him, but he's always right on time. Somebody else say God might not come when you want him, but when he come, you're going to want him. And so that's your word for the day. Don't get ahead of God in your relationships. Don't get ahead of God uh, in your destiny. Don't get ahead of God in your assignment. Don't move before God gives you permission to move. Don't climb until God gives you permission to climb. Uh, because what God has for you has already been reserved, but you got to come in at the right angle. So now, if you care, you will share. Maybe you know somebody that's trying to move too fast. Maybe you know somebody that's frustrated with the process. They just sick and tired, sick and tired of waiting, sick and tired of God, uh, sick and tired. Uh, you know, they have been in this holding pattern, this pending status for so long, and they don't think it's going to happen in their life. Well, if this, this word ain't for you, send it to somebody who might be blessed and whose lives might be changed and transformed all because of this word. Our word to you, simply be patient. Till the next time, God's good all the time. And all of the time, God is good. Be blessed.